super casual video. Um, right, let me just put this on. I just want to say there is a buzzing noise in my bathroom because we have this kind of thing up here and it just makes so much noise and I couldn't find a way to turn it off so yeah hopefully I can tweak it and make it go less louder, I don't know. I did ask you guys on Instagram what kind of videos you want to see and so many of you asked for my skincare routine and like my skincare products haven't really changed, I mean I have got some new products that I really really love at the moment so I'm just going to show you what I do morning and evening. So this is going to be the morning bit, later on I'm going to film the evening so you have everything in one video of everything that I've been using a lot lately. I mean I've got so much skincare products, it's really hard to use every single one of them but these are all the products that I've been loving so much lately so I'm going to include those in these videos, so the ones that I just use every day. And I do feel like these products have really helped to maintain my skin. Um, I do want to mention that I do dermal rolling every now and then if I have scars, so I have a few here so I have to do that. I might do it later, I usually do it in the night time. And that's only once a week, once every twice a week, it just, I can't even speak, what the hell. So yeah, I feel like that really helps and then a few masks, I'm going to talk about masks in the even, evening because that's when I do them most of the times. Okay, before I jump into the video I'm going to do my post notification shout out and today's one goes to Sabira Ali, thank you so much for your comment finally doing the skincare routine video <laughs> so yeah I've already cleansed my face the only cleanser that I really use and I freaking love is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost one this is my privacy I need my, my space okay anyways as I was saying I really love the Hydro Boost cleanser this is so good like oh is so good it just washes everything off when I take my makeup off I, I first if it depends it depends how much makeup I'm wearing if I'm wearing a lot I like to use an oil which I'll mention in a bit and then I use this to just wash everything off and I do put a lot of mascara so just using a makeup wipe or a cleansing oil does not do it for me I need a soapy kind of wash but this one when it, it kind of firms up but it doesn't strip the skin it doesn't feel drying at all I've even got my sister hooked on this, it's so good and um, it's really affordable, normally it's £8 but most times I only get it when it goes on offer for like £3.29 or something like that, you know? So yeah, I love this stuff. By the way, I have dry skin, winter time it's more dry, summer time it's more dry combination and yeah. I also really like this Bare Minerals Cleansing Oil, this is the Oil Obsessed Total Cleansing Oil, a delicate blend of bilberry, borage cucumber and sunflower oil is plus mineral rich sea salts as you can tell I've used this a lot it's just really good just to melt my makeup um, and then you know I go in with my cleanser I also do really like the Clinique take the day off balm but I've already gone through one pot of that and I've got a backup and um, that's really good for taking your makeup off it's just really good so once I've cleansed my skin oh wait two seconds I wanted to mention this this is so good to use just every now and then to cleanse, not cleanse, exfoliate your skin. So this is the Buffing Grains for the Face, it's by Bobbi Brown, it is more on the higher end side but as you can tell I love this stuff. I bought it like two years ago and I still have it, I don't even know if there's the expiry date on this. But what it is, it's basically a Zuki bean powder and they've been finely milled, not finely milled but like kind of crushed to make sure that none of the edges of the grains are sharp, they're all like rounded, it's really weird. That's what I've been told, but um, yeah, it's really good, it's, it's not like um, extremely exfoliating, it feels so nice and if you put enough water it does foam up slightly, but once you exfoliate your skin with this, your skin just feels so 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 soft, so yeah, I definitely recommend this, I actually need to get a new one because I can't live without this, this just really gets rid of the dead skin cells makes your skin feel soft. I get a lot of uh, flaky skin build up around my nose and around my mouth sometimes so I really really do need this. I do like to go in with the Ultra Facial Toner by Kiehl's. This is what it looks like. 
and yeah this stuff is so good it's so gentle and you know when you just wash your face even using an oil a cleanser is it focusing hello when you use a cleanser and oil sometimes there's still like dirt left on your skin like in your pores and stuff and this just really takes everything off so i just put some on a cotton pad like so it's like a milky texture and i just pick it off See, there's already a little bit of dirt. This is my skin, by the way, guys. I mean, you can't really tell, like, see my skin properly because of the lighting. I mean, I'm not, I'm just using my bathroom light right now. But, yeah, like, sometimes when on camera, it just makes your skin look better. I got texture some places hmm. so you can see I don't know if you can see to it it's a little bit of dirt I was kindly sent this by um, Kiehl's and it's so so good it's a gentle toner to prepare hydrate and comfort the skin yeah it's just amazing we get a lot of product in here like I've used this a lot and it's still like full and you only need the tiniest amount I really like it when high end products only require you to use a tiny amount and it does a job because you get more worth out of your money you know so, okay so sometimes I really like to use a serum my favourite one at the moment is the Bare Minerals Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion It just looks like this. It says after cleansing, apply two pumps over entire face and neck. Use morning and night. I only use this in the morning. Um, it smells super fruity, and I believe this has like anti-aging aspects to it. it. Smells so nice. So I just put this all over. Ooh. Okay, so now we go on to moisturizer. I like to keep it super simple in the morning. I use a cleanser not my oils oils is for night basically my cleanser toner if i remember sometimes i don't go for it but yeah toner is more for night in my opinion um so yeah cleanser toner serum moisturizer spf that's all i wear in the morning so we'll move on to moisturizer i have a few here that i wanted to show you guys so first of all you guys know i really love the ordinary magnesium focusing magnesium ascorbyl phosphate i think yeah so this stuff is really good i've run out and they're just being weird on the company right now so i don't know if i want to purchase more stuff from them for now i don't know i'm just waiting to see um but yeah the ordinary products are so so good they're really nice so the next one is super affordable, it's by Avon, it's this cocoa butter face cream, this is so good, I got it for like £5 on Amazon or if you have an Avon representative you can, you know, see if you can buy it off them, but yeah, the, this is so good, I've finished this one, all gone, it's so good, it smells so nice, so if you have dry skin you're going to love this moisturiser, it's really good. I wanted to have something that is drugstore in here but the next thing I really have been loving is the day moisturizer night cream serum base all-in-one universal emulsion this is by Elixir this one's more high-end but it's so 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 good so I definitely recommend it and the next one I also really really do love it's one of my favorite moisturizers is the glam glow water burst hydrated glow moisturizer and sometimes I just pop this on in the morning or in the evening depends on my mood but this is a really 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 good one and it smells like cocoa butter again and it's just a really nice simple kind of water gel moisturizer it's not as hydrating as the uh, Avon one or the Lixo one but it's still a nice moisturizer for my skin I think today I'm going to go for the Glam Glow one I'm going to put a little bit of that And I also always go in with some SPF. This is my Body Shop Skin Defense. By far one of my favorite SPFs. It's SPF 50, I believe. I'll give it a good shake. And I just put this on. I'm so simple with my skincare. 
so yeah that's my skin prep for the morning is what I usually do on a daily um, I'm gonna head off film another video and I'll see you guys this evening alright guys it's probably like five days later I was supposed to finish filming this video the other day but I just literally couldn't I had no time so I'm here today I've already taken off all my makeup and like I said um, earlier on in this video I do use oils to melt the makeup and then I use my Garnier Hydro Boost Cleanser to wash everything off. I'm going to put some toner because I feel like I need some. Hey, never mind, we're not going to do any toner because I can't find any cotton pads. It's just typical in my household. Um, so yeah, when so, once I've done toner, actually no, normally I wanted to shave my face to be honest. Um, let's do this first. But I'm going to shave my face because... This needs a good shaving. I do this with my face dry. I mean, I do have a video on this. It's a really good way of exfoliating your skin. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I really like it when it's clean on the top. That's what I do to be honest. Literally your skin feels so soft after this. Now obviously I've got some blemishes here and there on my skin. That's better. But yeah, you can see like I've got a lot of breakouts at the moment. So when these go away, it's gonna leave some scars. And what I do is I always use like a dermal roller roller. I have a, again I have a video on it, so I'll link all the relevant videos in the info box use this once a week if I do have scars and it literally gets rid of it with like the right products to go with it now afterwards I like to go with like serum or acid kind of products oh wait so the first one that I've been really liking is the Kima Night Peel yeah this is what it looks like it's by Make uh, Revolution Skincare sorry and yeah I've been loving this stuff I'm actually going to put this now I also love myself some Ordinary Alpha Arbitin, I've run out of that and I'm just trying to get through my other skincare products before buying anything else. So I just really press this into my skin, I really like to, that one in my mouth, what the hell, I just really like to like really concentrate this into my skin and also because you've shaved it's kind of like opens your pores and it really helps to sink in also when you use a dermal roller it like creates little tiny holes in your like epidermis layer I know it's like really scientific but it's not really <laughs> but it really helps the product to really sink in um, so yeah it, this is what really helps my skin to be honest um, yeah so Alpha Arbitin is really good like it's one of my favourites um, I also love this Ordinary Peeling Solution, now this is off, I need to throw this away, but this really helps my skin texture, I've mentioned it a few times in other videos. Um, now for the under eyes, first of all I like to use this on a daily, it's the Caffeine Solution by Revolution Skincare. Um, so yeah, I use this on a daily, it's super quick and easy to use. Um, I'm not too fussy about my under eyes to be honest um, but then I also have been loving this Patchology Restoring Night Eye Gels it's literally just eye patches and you put under your eyes and it, your eyes feel so nice afterwards and I feel like this has been helping a little bit to like deep off my eyes and just make them look smooth and a bit brighter they're so good like honestly I definitely recommend these but you literally just pop them underneath I usually go with a Lixit moisturiser or any moisturiser to me as that I've mentioned previously like that I use in the morning. Um, I'm going to skip moisturiser today because I just want a really nice oil on my skin. So I'm going to use this now. This stuff is so nice. Oh my god. It's a replenishing elixir of pure essential oils and distilled botanicals to visibly restore the appearance of skin by morning. This is the Kiehl's Recovery midnight recovery concentrate oh my god this stuff is so nice they kindly sent to me sent it to me but i can't live without this because i've like been breaking out i really want to put some of this on my skin and it literally just glides on my skin is so dry as well yeah so like literally by morning your skin feels so soft and i feel like this is just helping just helping to maintain my skin 
I feel like it's mostly the feel that I love. I love the smell. It helps me sleep, like the lavendery kind of smell. I feel like over time it, it kind of does help your skin. I mean, I've been using it for like maybe two, three weeks now. I also love the Gold Elixir by Revolution Skincare. This stuff is really good if you want something a bit more affordable. And just a quick me mention about masks. I've been loving, this stuff is magic, like this is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Overnight Hydrating Mask and it's a big pot of jelly and you just lather it on your skin, leave it on for like 15-20 minutes and then I kind of just wipe off the excess and like massage some of the product in and keep that all, all night and literally your skin is baby soft, like baby soft by morning. So I've been loving this, I do it like once a week. This is so good, like honestly. And then this um, Himalayan charcoal purifying glow mask by The Body Shop is the bomb. I mean, they do really good deals every now and then, like good discount codes. If you're a student, they do even more better deals. So keep a lookout for those. I mean, this, if you have a deal, it becomes a bit more affordable, but this is something that really helps my skin texture, just the appearance of my skin, just evening out your skin tone, skin tone, like your complexion. It does really sting though, but the girl, I remember I met Fatima like at the body shop in Oxford Street and she was like, don't worry, it does sting, but it really helps and she had like flawless skin and she really knew what she was talking about. Like this stuff is so good, I definitely recommend it to you guys. I've used this so much. But I'm going to keep my skin like this now because I want this oil to sink in because I've got like, my skin's very irritated right now. <laughs> but yeah, those are like the products I really reach for and a lot of different moisturizers. I feel like my moisturizers change a lot. Like the serums and oils kind of vary sometimes out of all these products that I've shown you. Um, but definitely check out Revolution Skincare and uh, The Ordinary. Like they're both my favorite affordable make um, skincare brands. I've been loving Body Shop Kills, Glam Glow, that Avon moisturizer is so good. I really do love Bobbi Brown creams as well. Like they're so nice. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say guys. I hope you enjoyed this more like live skincare kind of thing. Because I know I only just talk about skincare, but I don't really show you guys what I do. And yeah. Oh, by the way, I've been loving... This was here like in front of me this whole time. I've been, my camera cut. But anyways, I've been loving this new Glam Glow Tropical Cleanser. It's so nice. It's more of like an exfoliator, so I don't even put this over my eyes. I just you know exfoliate my skin with it. it smells really nice it's kind of like a clay tropical kind of scent all right guys i hope you found this video helpful don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and share it with people that you think they would find helpful if that makes sense um i love you guys and i will see you in my next one bye